should probably have thought about turning off the music here before I got started. If you guys are curious, that is the new Eli Young Band song, Love Ain't. Really awesome song, especially if you have a significant other. I would highly suggest checking it out. Gives really great vibes. No, Eli Young Band did not sponsor this video. That'd be pretty cool if they did though. Speaking of a sponsor for this video, Cove, a company that makes really dope little speakers that are super sleek looking and sound amazing, have a subwoofer on the side, actually did sponsor this video though, guys. I wanted to share this Cove commuter with you all. If you hadn't heard of Cove before, I'm sure that you've seen cylindrical type speakers that resemble the Cove. And well, if you hadn't discovered Cove, then you might have been in a dim lit Cove because this speaker is absolutely awesome. I've been taking full advantage of the Cove while working on my garage. And as you guys can see from the last time that you saw when I checked out from the last video, we have made some changes. And yes, I have this beautiful floor space around me now. This is wonderful. This speaker is water resistant and dust resistant, which means it's impenetrable to its surroundings. For the most part, don't flush it down your toilet because I don't know if that'll do you any good. This thing sounds absolutely amazing. Now guys, I am a little biased. When I sent this, I said, there's no way it can be as good as my UE Boom. But as a matter of fact, it is. Actually, it's just as good. That, $200. This, $200. In this instance, I'm offering you guys $135 off of this speaker. So let's do another comparison. $200, $70. You hit that first link in the description below, that's gonna get you 65% off this speaker right here. I know that you guys can get a great deal of enjoyment out of it, whether you're chilling on the beach with a nice cold beer, you're kicking back in your garage, just trying to kill the silence. Now I'm actually going to leave that thing charged right here and show you guys what's good with the garage. We did a little bit of reorganization. I gotta say, this place came a really, really, really long way from where it started. Update on the lighting. I know you guys were stressed about it. We've got six LED strips hung up and they look freaking awesome. I was actually in the garage last night standing in here. Oh, and it acts as a telephone receiver too. It's my wife, I gotta take this. Okay, I love you. All right, well that is my ride for the day, so I'm not gonna spend too much time right now, but the lighting is up and it looks amazing. I was literally standing in here last night, just totally dark outside, garage closed. I had the lights off in here and then I turned them on and it lit up like it was some sort of medical facility. Oh God, it felt so good. Anyway, um, we'll go into the garage stuff in a little bit. I don't wanna upset my wife, well, because she's my ride. We're dropping the Duramax off today. We're going for paint match, boys and girls. We're doing it, we're finally doing it. It's been long enough that the big old Duramax the 15 sat with these uh, chrome bumpers. I, I, I liked it for three weeks and then I was like, uh, I don't know, it just isn't doing it for me. Plus, we're doing some other color matching that I don't think I'm gonna re reveal in this video exactly because, well, it's just it's a surprise. You know, it's like you guys know that the bumpers are gonna get color matched, the grills, the headlights, all that stuff, but our boy Sean down at Peach Bottom Auto Body is going to hook us up and we're gonna show you his Cummins. I think he's finally got his fuel forges on, which is gonna mean his truck's gonna look great. It's red and chrome, it, it looks amazing. Now, one thing that we need to do and oh man if my wife is watching this she's gonna get so mad is I thought I was doing some preemptive avoidance here by throwing my LLY wheels and tires in the back of the 15 well because I'm giving them back to Sam the owner of LRA where I bought my Minimax um, but I didn't really think about the scheduling opportunity and blah, 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 blah. So those need to come out because later in the week, we're going to review a 2015 Denali that you guys are going to freaking love. I mean, spitting image of my truck, except in Denali form with a few other goodies. Anyway, I got to pull these out real quick. I really thought I was doing myself such a service. If my wife's watching this, she's totally mad by now. But babe, I hope you'll understand. We gotta do a cold start. It has been a long time since I've driven this truck. I wanna say at least three weeks, at least. All right, all right, all right. I'll put my seatbelt on. Relax, relax, relax. It's a that whirly fat 
Live Stealth 64, boys. That's it right there, that's what you're hearing. Also, I just had to thank you guys so much. I mean, grateful is an understatement right now. I'm like freaking ecstatic at seeing how excited you guys are on these new products. That's what makes my world go around, guys, honestly. It's like I've never been more excited to spend money on my vehicle, and that's exactly what my brand explains, and it defines that crazy inner motive to say, yes, I work to mod my vehicles. <laughs> It's amazing, and, 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 and well, whatever, all I'm saying is you guys are freaking awesome, and I love the support. I'm, I'm beyond ecstatic, and I'm beyond thankful. That's all I gotta say. Giveaway update, it's coming. I have new information that I'm not gonna share yet, and it's not my big Duramax. A lot of you guys thought that I was gonna be giving it away, but it's, it's not. Anyway, let's get in route. We're gonna go meet up with Sean. We're gonna see how things are. Maybe we'll give you guys an inkling or two as to what it is that we're gonna do to color match the Duramax. We're bringing it back, boys. We're bringing back the great white, and it's gonna feel so good to have it back. Look at that. I love it. I approve, Sean. I approve. Oh, it's gonna look so great. I can't wait. Show you guys his Cummins again real quick. If you guys saw that upload, he was cruising around on the Stockers. We were talking about some of the mods that he wanted to do to this thing. Paint match does grill. I always like that on the fourth gen. I always feel like that ties together the fourth gen. It's like the missing link. I don't know. You guys are gonna probably burn me in the comment section. I'm gonna take a guess and say FF19s. Could be completely wrong on that, but it's nice to see that they're on. And I gotta say, I really, really like that chrome and red combination. Obviously, he paint matched his toe mirrors and he's got them down. My man, I like this guy. Nah, I'm only kidding. And then he's got the roll pan on the back with the integrated sensors. I like that too. Sean also did the tinning on my taillights. I think he's got some recon taillights here. They're the chrome backed ones, which are just way too flamboyant in my opinion, when they aren't tinted, because really they're just too, too bright. There's too much chrome in tail lights or any lights in general I'm not a fan of, but he does do the painted tinning. So he has layers that he applies and then a clear coat over that to give you that nice, clear, painted finish that's just really smooth, crisp, and clean. But a good friend of mine put me in touch with Sean, Peach Bottom Auto Body, Southern Lancaster County, Maryland is basically a stone's throw away. I like to partner with companies that know trucks because really when it's an enthusiast to enthusiast inspired relationship, generally you're on the same page and you're gonna get the output that you'd want. Now when it comes to color matching, there aren't a lot of body shops that do these kind of things, especially for trucks that have chrome from the factory. Working with the metals, you basically have to get the metal back down to its bare state. You need something that's not chrome, because if you go to paint and chrome, well, it's gonna basically roll right off. You gotta get the metal down to its exposed steel surface before you can begin the priming, painting, and clearing processes. Down here at Peach Bottom Auto Body, they do that all the time. I know a lot of local people that have come here, and it, it's it's been unquestionably worthwhile. I'm gonna put all this information down in the description below. He's an awesome guy to work with. He just knows how to talk the talk. He walks the walk. He drives a beautiful Cummins truck. I mean, what more would you want from a person that's gonna be working on your own specific vehicle? Yeah, I would get like the, hey. What's up, friends? What's up, dude? <laughs> I mean, to me, I like uniformality, but you need some chrome. <laughs> Too much chrome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean. I think we just nailed it. Okay. Most of this is gonna come off of the sandblast. Oh, okay. Yes. Cool. So we'll be able to sandblast it, and then and then hopefully sanding down the rest of the way. You don't. Okay, someone, no. there's this bee attacking me. You good? No, oh, it's gonna come back. It's a sweat it's back. It's right on your shoulder. Oh, it is? Kill yeah, it. You're good. No, no, it's. it's uh -huh. Kill it. <laughs> no, no, they don't harm you. Oh, you got it! Oh, no. ah! Did you get it? I killed it! <laughs> That's too funny. I've never been stung by a bee in my entire oh, life. Oh, man, you city folk. <laughs> I'm That's nervous. I am shooketh. <laughs> 
Do they come in out this way? Uh, yeah, but I never pulled them out before. They are OEM mirrors, though. Okay. There they are. Hey, they move! Nice. That's right. Another bee. Oh, man. We will. Cool. Thanks again, man. Great to see you. I really it. appreciate it. It was Not good seeing problem. you as well. And let there be light. Oh, yes! Look at that. Look at that. My, oh, my. I feel like I can walk around. I can see. I can see Otto. What's up, dude? I can see Ozzy. They do have an Instagram if you guys want to follow them, Otto and Ozzy. Oh, figures. Hmm. Creative. Creative. I'm so, so excited about these new lights. I, I wanted to kind of finish this video in the garage. Um, I got the three here, the three here, three more are gonna go there, three more are gonna go there, and this place is gonna be lit up like a medical facility. Um, one thing though that I'm not gonna hide is, fortunately in my garage, this switch is not wired to any receptacles anywhere. And, uh, unfortunately, I have to bring in a professional to take care of basically routing this switch to said power locations, probably that one right there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda tuck everything up and away, run the power cords up and over the I-beam and everything will be good to go. So that about wraps up this upload. Second link in the description below is Enthusiast if you guys wanna check it out. My Like League, I love you guys, do what you do best. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, go ahead and do so. I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys in the next video.